Hello everyone, welcome to Pylen Inn. It's 7.30 p.m. Friday evening and I was just about to leave office when one of my friends suggested this awesome website. It's called Code Golf. So basically what you have to do is, you have to write your code for the problems in the shortest way possible. The shorter you write your code, the higher you go up on the leaderboard. I can't wait to go back home and try this. I'll see you in a bit. So let's get started with Code Golf. Here, let's go to the Code Golf website. All right. So here you can see these are all problems. So basically you have to solve these problems and every problem has a name. So there is a divisor problem. There's the FizzBuzz problem that we have solved. Uh, happy numbers, leap years, naive numbers, Fibonacci, prime numbers. Wow, there are a lot of problems. And each of those problems show a leaderboard. So first, second, third. So I guess this 54 represents the number of characters that they have used to write their code. So the shorter, the higher you are on the leaderboard, like I explained. Uh, let's go to the first problem, yeah? Divisors. So basically, here the question is, we have to print the positive divisors of each number from 1 to 100 inclusive on their own line with each divisor separated by a space. And we are going to use Python for this, of course. So um, let's write a normal code, you know, let's not worry about characters. Let's not worry about how short we can make them. Let's just write a normal code right now, right? So I can say for, uh, so basically from one to 100. So that means I have to loop uh, between one to 101. So for number in range one to 101, then for number, uh, let's not call it number, let's call it num2 in range. So basically, if uh, I'm looking for divisors for the number 2, then I have only have to check from 1 to 2, right? So I have to check uh, with 1 and I have to check with 2. I don't need to check from 1 to 100 for number 2, right? So basically, that should be our uh, higher limit. So here I can say 1, 2 number plus one yeah i think that should be it and then we check if number percentage num2 equal to equal to zero then we need to print basically uh, num2 right right so let's go ahead and see what happens yeah uh, i don't know what's gonna happen i'm just uh, writing a normal code simple code so if I run this, it says failed because, okay, you can see here, this is the expected output. So one, then one, two, one, three. Okay, so we have to uh, we have to print divisors for each number in every line. So this is for one, this is for two, this is for one, three. Uh, four has one, two, and four. Yeah, that makes sense, right? And I'm printing, okay, I'm printing everything on one line, right? Okay, so first let's make up our code right and then we'll try to shorten it, right? So here I can use the end parameter and equal to and I need a space, right? So basically if I run this now, okay, it still failed. Okay, but now everything is being printed to the same line. Ah, all right, okay. Um, well, one thing I can do here is actually after this for loop so basically for every number we print the divisors and then we move on to the next line right so basically i can just write a simple print statement here without anything inside it and if i run this now great oh it's actually passing so now our uh, output result is same as the expected result cool man nice nice so now uh, okay so how many characters we have used 123 characters right Let's go to the scoreboard. Let's see how many characters the winners have actually. So here, um, wow, all holes, what is that? Oh, okay, we have to choose our own number uh, as in our problem. So ours is the divisors problem and we uh, in languages we'll pick Python. So basically here you see, okay, the first person has only 56 characters. We have more than double, all right, okay. So now we need to improve our code. So basically shorten our code so that 
uh, we reach as close as the highest, uh, uh, the first guy, right? So as close as 56 characters. And here we have 123 characters. All right, let's see how we can shorten them, right? So it was difficult for me to work on the UI. So what I did was I copied my code to my PyCharm ID and I started working there. Now one of the things I changed, one of the smallest things that I changed is that we are using variables like number, num2, right? Those take up characters. So I, instead of number and num2 here, I have replaced them with X and Y. And now my code has already become 99 characters. So there's a huge change, you know, 123 to 99. So that already improves. And if I run this now, oh, it failed. Why did it fail? It said one, two, two, one, th three, three. What am I printing wrong? Ah, I shouldn't print X, I should print Y. Maybe this is going to solve it. Correct. So now it's passing. You know, I see that this range thing range 1 to 101 is taking up a lot of characters maybe we can change that improve that here before the code i can say z equal to range 1 to 101 and then here i can replace it with z however here i can't replace it with z right so i'm only uh, looping from 1 to x plus 1 so basically the number that is chosen in the first loop I'm looping until then. What if I change it to Z here? I mean, the code will become highly inefficient, but my characters have reduced from 99 to 92 now. And okay, it's still passing, but I'm not happy with this. Uh, my code has become inefficient. We are just looping over unnecessary numbers right now. Okay, maybe we need to change this to some kind of a list comprehension because I have two for loops here and then I'm doing an if statement I'm printing twice maybe there is another way that we can do this without printing twice without writing two for loops I think I might have to use something called uh, something like list comprehension let's try that out yeah list comprehension here so basically I'm using a while loop and I'm trying to print y for y in range 1 comma i see I told you about the logic right if you're looking for the divisors of 10 you don't have to look for numbers beyond 10 right so range 1 comma i if i percentage y equal to equal to 0 oh wait there should be i plus equal to 1 as well right otherwise it will just keep looping forever so now if I run this Okay, first mistake, I'm getting lists. Second mistakes, this is not what we want. One, 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 two. Um, why is that happening? Okay. Um, hey, one second. It should be I plus one, right? Because it's not, I is not taken into account. It should be I plus one. You see, such small, small mistakes. When you're writing code, you never pay attention. Even if you know this stuff, you know? It's not like we don't know this stuff, but it happens. Mistakes happen. And that's why practice is so important. And that's why I love this website. Seriously. If I run this now. Okay. <coughs> so I'm getting the required list. 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. But it should not be in list, right? It should be as normal 1, space, 2. So basically all the numbers without any list separated by a space. I think for that we need to use the join method. Actually... Let's go here and say 
so we need a space dot join okay so if i'm using the join method let's not use list comprehension then let's use a generator expression so instead of using a list comprehension otherwise i mean we don't we don't need a list comprehension for that we'll just create a temporary list and we don't need it we can do with a generator expression so ideally this is showing expected type iterable string oh this is getting int so it should be stored as string okay so i can say string oh cool now it's not showing anything okay okay so if i run this now one one two one three cool man okay this is this is working let's copy this okay so now we see wow our characters have reduced to 88 you know you remember the last time we had reduced the characters to 92 but uh, it was very inefficient we are unnecessarily looping over numbers now we have redu reduced it to 88 and we are not unnecessarily looping over numbers it should work you know cool it worked actually all right so um, the highest score was 56 right okay okay so we are 88 uh, like 32 difference okay let's see how we can reduce this further you know what what if we re uh, replace the while loop with for loop i mean this i equal to one is unnecessary i plus equal to one is unnecessary i mean we don't need this right If you are wondering why I'm here, well I got bored sitting downstairs, I needed my bed. So I've been trying really hard for the last, uh, oh this is my dog by the way, Ginger, very cute isn't he? Well I've been trying really hard uh, for the last uh, half an hour now, but I don't think there is a, a shorter way to do it unless I do it using while loop. Apparently while i less than 0, I mean I know it requires uh, an additional uh, parameter i and uh, I have to do i plus 1, i plus equal to 1 but then it is actually uh, coming to be smaller than uh, using a for loop. I will show you what I mean. So now if I run this code, oh so now it is passing. So friends for the sake of this video I decided to stop at 76. So basically, I wrote a program that returns the divisors of all the numbers from 1 to 100 in 76 characters. The person who is on the first position on the leaderboard has 56 characters. So I'm, I still have 20 more characters compared to the first position. However, I feel happy about it. Why? Because I reduced it from 123 characters to 76 characters and I feel my code is still readable, you know. Uh, this is very important that uh, you also keep a uh, uh, check of readability. This is my opinion. I, I know the game is not about readability, it's about writing the smallest code possible. However, I do believe it, it is part of your attitude. I highly recommend all of you to go ahead to this website. The, you can find the link in the description section below and uh, go ahead and try out all the problems and try to write the problems in as small code as possible. You know what, in fact, go ahead, try the divisors problem and beat me on it. I scored 76, try to score something lower than 76. So you write your code lower than 76 characters and then put them down in the comment section below. Thank you everyone. I will see you in the next tutorial.